Hello everybody, today my friends I'm going to do a nice quick comparison between a 120mm and a 240mm liquid cooling radiator. So basically 120mm versus 240mm radiators. Is it worth it spending the extra money on a larger 240mm variant or is 120mm good enough? Or is there even a performance difference? That's what I'll be taking a close look at here today. For this experiment to work, I decided to go with all-in-one liquid coolers. Logically, it has to be the same product series to make sense with the identical pump unit with the only difference being the radiator. For the 120mm variant, I'm therefore going with Arctix Liquid Freezer 120 and for 240mm, obviously, Liquid Freezer 240. Huge thanks to Arctic for sending me two coolers of the same product series to make this video even possible. Now to get started, what are the main differences between the two versions? The obvious one is the radiator size. While the 240mm version comes in at a length of 272mm, the 120mm variant at just 155mm. To compensate for the cooling surface, there's a major difference in thickness, however. The 120mm version is 49mm thick, whereas the 240mm one just 38. And then what about the price? The specific 120mm model by Arctic currently costs about 63 US dollars, whereas the 240mm variant significantly more at a price point of 84 dollars. Everything else is identical, the fans, the pump and so on. Now as many of you may know, Arctic kindly includes double the amount of fans to attach to the radiators for a push-pull configuration. But since the majority of AIO units only come with two fans for the 240mm versions and one for the 120mm model, I'll not make use of the extra fan or fans Arctic includes. However, I'll do two separate tests on the 120mm model since many people like to run a push-pull configuration with 120mm radiators, since it's not taking up as much space as 240mm radiators would in such case. To make the temperature difference more visible, I'm of course overclocking my Intel i7-4770K CPU. With that said, let's check out the performance now. As you saw yourself, there certainly is a very noticeable performance difference between a 120 and 240mm radiator, especially when equipping the 120mm cooler with only a single fan. The 120mm cooler did offer better cooling performance with two fans when running a push-pull configuration though, but still the 240mm radiator model of the cooler comes out on top even with the same amount of fans attached. But of course the temperatures aren't that far apart then. In terms of noise level, there was not much of a difference, honestly. The 120mm radiator with only a single fan attached was a bit quieter, but again, the difference in noise level is barely audible, at least for me. That's depending a lot on which fans you decide to use. As for the price, it's difficult to tell whether or not the premium is worth it for the 240mm version. In the end, it's up to you, really. How about compatibility? While 240mm radiators fit in the majority of modern computer cases these days, there still are exceptions here and there depending on the case, other than 120mm radiators, which fit in like 95% of decent cases. So in the end I really don't want to tell you which type of a radiator is better. Both 120 and 240mm ones have their benefits and disadvantages. All I can say is I personally prefer 240-280mm liquid coolers over 120mm ones, but that's just me. How about you? What are your preferences and which radiator do you think is the better choice overall? When also taking the price into consideration. With that said, I hope you found this quick comparison helpful. Once again, I'd like to thank Arctic for making this video possible. I couldn't have done it without them providing me both liquid cooler models. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.